Yo, well, this is another uh, uh, inter- I mean, um, um, album review. I'm, re- I'm reviewing the, uh, the, sa- the 14th album, Sabres by Green Day. Uh, it, it came out like a, a couple of months. It, com- it came out like a, a couple of months ago, but I'm just now uh, hearing it. I should have. I, I was like, uh, I, I saw it. I saw it at Target for for the CD, but I, I originally wanted it on cassette. I'm gonna get this on cassette. But like, uh, I, I really liked it. I really liked the. Um, I don't know, what I liked about this album is they went back to their uh, typical punk rock roots. Uh, they uh, with this, uh, like with, the, with these thirteen tracks and like uh, of course they 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 mixed in their, their two thousand and four uh, political uh, a political stance uh, of lyrics with a on this album. But like it was prim- primarily uh, what they what uh, they, it's, it was them primarily going back to their roots and whatnot. Sorry about that, but yeah, with uh, with thirteen tracks of of good old uh, good old. Um, uh, the green Green Day imagery, like it, it really, it really captures you. Even though in the first three songs, it, it it's kind of, it, it kind of like the the build up kind of stretches a bit, especially with so, with songs like the America Dream is Killing Me, which which sounds like something off of, of American Idiot, and like so, songs like Look Look Ma No Brains, and then it has a song called Bobby Socks. It says like I want to like it, it kind of hints to uh, Billy Joe Armstrong's bisexuality, like the singer, the singer of Green Day. Um, uh, um, Green Day is a is bisexual, even though he's married to a woman. But like at yeah, one part of the song, he said, "You want to be my oh, uh, you want to be my girlfriend." And another in the second verse, he said, "Do you want to be my boyfriend?" And then like some songs like a uh, one-eyed bastard and dilemma, a fit a fit a was kind of a bit of a stretch, especially with a uh, with a long like it, it, like I said, it, it, some of the songs were typical. It was it was lukewarm like the first three four tracks. Of this album, like the that it was very lukewarm, but in the kind of the build up is kind of kind of kind of almost slow to 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 midway. And so, especially with songs like 1981, I love I love songs like 1981 with that that retro with that that nostalgic punk rock feel uh, and with the lyrics to match. I I, I love like I, I like how the, the the lyrics that Billy Joe was uh was singing in 1981 uh, pretty much fits that the title of that songs. And then, like, of course, Corvette Summer and Susie Chapstick uh, uh, fit, fit into the category of, of some uh, some uh, of the typical Green Day songs that we we knew from their first three albums. Because like, no, no, they, they like I said, they basically went back to their roots. But like, my favorite song on here is uh, "Living in the Twenties." I I played that album. I played that song like six or seven times. And I just the the, uh, the riff was just playing in my head over and the guitar riff was playing in my head over and over and I, I pretty much look, look um, that, that's that's my favorite song off off of the Saviors album and then like of course uh, like the the Saviors song the ti- the title track it, it it didn't disappoint either I was a big fan of that but I I, I pretty much like uh and I I pretty much love love my, uh, love this album I. Like I, I didn't, it kind of threw me off because uh, because of the slow build up, but I, I'm a, I actually like this uh I, I actually like this album. I haven't heard a sucky Green Day album yet, but like my favorite song, but my favorite songs on here are is Living in the Twenties, uh, Saviors, 1981, and Look Ma No Brains. Yeah, but like but like th- this is a good ass album by Green Day. From a scale to one to ten, I give it like an eight.